Looking very comfortable, actually. And we need to swap those around. No contest. Okay, sure. No, oh, okay. Ooh, the trot tag. Oh, let's see if we can move him. I have no idea what the trot tag is for, but like half of Australian Smash Sisters and McLeod uses it, so I'll find out one day. So I watched bits and pieces of the last time these guys play, uh, played. Uh, Kai looking very good for a lot of games and just dying at 60 to a, <laughs> to a very strong punish from McLeod and just being like, yep, that's gonna happen. <laughs> you have to, you, you still end up feeling so scared when you're at 60 against Peach. You just, you just want to back air to close out a stock and you just know if you get opened up here, you very well could die. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh. He was trying to, trying to hang out on top plat for just a little bit, just slow to pace the game down and just gets pulled out. But oh. I bring it back to even. Well, this top, I'm not like this side plat looking a lot less comfortable for, uh, comfortable for the spacey than you, you'd like. Um, oh, very nice platform moving actually. I always really love Kai's little um, waveland back airs off side plat. Wow, just... I'm not sure if that was reaction or if it was just a call out off the arm um, of the uh, Tech Chase S match, but just deletes my boy. <laughs> you and you, like, whenever you see the arm um, Peach just kind of throw out the sneaky down smash on Plat, it's like, it makes sense. Even, you can't overuse it and spam it, but like, just throwing it out now and then just to keep them honest, not to have them just automatically initially, um, jump up and try and contest top flat. And that's the thing, if you make, if you um, down smash a bit and you make them wait a little bit, then you can immediately drop down for a shield drop. Less so when you're on top flat, more so on side flat, but like, it gives you a little bit of breathing room if they're a bit hesitant. first up throw and then I guess wasn't confident enough <clears throat> wasn't confident enough to go for the attack chase the second time just throws him off stage and goes for some mix up on Kai's recovery that's game one I assume we're going Yoshi's maybe Stady maybe back to battlefield but probably Yoshi's Hello, hello. Oh, I did, what the hell? Alright, I remember last time that was... Uh, one second. Yeah, I couldn't update the scores. <laughs> I was like, even after he can save. I remember there was something that we had to click to um, 
reset it to <laughs> Jeff kindly showing me. <clears throat> Man, I'm really surprised we... I'm wondering why we went here over Yoshi. Oh, I guess we're going here over Yoshi's because McCloud's been picking it more, like, or favoring Yoshi's more as a, um... I mean, he even counterpicks it against Fox at times. Um, I guess he just reverse the closed-in sort of space. Ooh. Peach is now at above 100, so if Kai can just corral Peach to grab ledge, you can pretty effectively ledge trap her when she's above 100. There aren't many things in this uh, post-box nerf, box not being allowed uh, era that Peach can really do off the ledge, because she can't really pedge dash reliably now. Like, she still can without it, but it's way, way harder, and you just don't see um, a card going for it anywhere near as much. At which point then, yeah, she's above 100 on the ledge. Honestly, she's probably just tournament winnering and maybe doing some uh, slow double jump back to um, ledge option, but nothing's great. That was a really, really late dare. Really safe, really safe uh, option on the cloud shield. I mean, he's doing a high aerial. He's just fading him back to make sure that he doesn't get punished afterwards. Just really playing really safe around the cloud shield. This is still so scary. This is so scary as well. It's just... Because... Attacking, like, dealing with Peach when she's below 30, 40, is just, you feel like you're trying to defuse a bomb. You're trying to just go for safe, non-committal options, and you're slowly giving up space to do so, and then you just get called out and something off stage, and you're dead, and you think, where did it go? What happened? I had a stock. I had a fresh, clean stock. It's all gone now. It's just these little, like, hit-and-run options because you just don't want to fully commit. You don't want to drift in because you're worried you're just going to get, um... going to get power shielded or you're going to just... Yeah, like that. You're just going to get power shield down smash and open up. Oh, you're just throwing it out. You know what, MSJ was right. Let's just fraud <laughs> let's just fraud F Smash now and then. Not even just MSJ, it's just like A lot of Falcos actually will just kind of let it rip. You know what? Why not? Damn it. Okay, good DI. Ooh, really nice spot. Constantly holding down and getting the ACI down. Oh, really good reactions from McLeod, actually. Just doing everything there to, like, cover that side B. Wow, grabs it from him. This has been a really good game, actually. It's been... Nice tech chasing. Ooh, okay. There was a moment when Peach didn't have a double jump. She was kind of just drifting towards ledge hoping. And never mind. Just kill off the top. That's the thing. If you can, like, get those stocks at 90, that's just so huge. Because, like... If two or three of your stocks are killing the Peach at 130 with a back air, then, like, you're probably not winning. You're not winning unless you're winning neutral so much more, and Kai's just not at the moment. Oh, this... Yep. Well, we got one, but the bad news is we now have a minimum of two FD games. Ready? 
let's... This isn't quite as bad as, um... I mean, yeah, it's pretty commonly said by now. It's not quite as bad. It's almost a cliche that, yeah, it's not as bad for... FD isn't as bad for um, Falco as it is for Fox, but... That's true. That's true. It's, um... Kai has a pretty decent game plan as well on FD. To be honest, there's times where it doesn't feel that terrible for Fox. It's still obviously a bad stage. It's a Peach favorite um, stage, but... If Peach isn't hitting her chain grabs... If Peach isn't getting like 80 off, 80 plus off chain grabs, like, or even, you know, actually dropping the punishes at times, then you get so much other than, like, you get so much otherwise as Fox. And, like, you're just kind of blowing up. She's, um, dying at like 75 ish off a weight, off a shine. And, uh, yeah, the slides are just pretty long, so, like, a lot of times Nair isn't gonna be closing out the stock or putting you off stage until a pretty high percent. So you don't have to worry about just getting blown up by Peach now at like 70 or 80 or like you would on Yoshi's. Ooh. Oh, those power... <laughs> His power shots are just so good. Oh, that was uncharacteristic error there. But um, otherwise, oh, nice. like beforehand, just waiting out for the side B, and then when the side B wasn't coming out, and uh, Kai committed to the up B, just went for, uh, forward more, and then just Ned. Mm, yeah, these these full drift dares are just kind of getting murdered by these power shields right now. Yeah, I mean the side B looks weird, but like there was no real other option. <laughs> if the up B's, McLeod's just going to drift down. Like McLeod was already ready to set up, to go for that um, drop down, drift back a little bit, and it was like near. Nah. So like he might as well try and SDI the side B up as much as he can. Sorry, um, SDI to down it up as much as he can, and then side B. But even so, last dog gameplay from both of them. Which, well. Oh, this, okay. I think McLeod a little bit late on the uh, reaction, but still gets the grab anyway. And we're probably going to see... <gasps> drops the chain grab. Ooh, can't be doing that. But still got so much percent off it. Probably going to be the game. Yep. Not contest. Oh, we got ourselves a... Oh, this is... Well, I guess technically is a... Well, it's no longer really a first... Two round robin, it's a uh, grand finals reset. Sound of both. Uh, wait, one sec. Sound of both losers, but now we're going to crown ourselves a winner. Who's it going to be? McLeod of all the momentum, but all oh, this combo looking. Ah. <gasps> oh. Such a shame that didn't didn't just the second day didn't knock him off stage, but Oh <laughs> There was a spot there when Kai was on side flat, McLeod on top flat, and they were just sort of meandering around that I was convinced McLeod was gonna throw out a little down smash there. A little hesitancy from Kai as well, I think he was also he was also thinking that was gonna happen, but Ooh, weird Weird laces, but Oh, really nice angle. Gets the ledge jazz, but then just hits nothing out of afterwards. Maybe was a little bit too early off the um, ledge dash. So just ate the input. Oh, that back air was so risky. Because I think his invincibility ran out as well. And that was definitely a weak back air. Could have gone CC down smash. Oh, that's, that looks so jank. I, it's hard. It's hard to react, obviously, but I think there's spots where Kai is getting a lot of weak aerials that could be follow-up, but he's just 
so used to fading back these aerials that he's content just to take the 13, or not even 13, like, we'll have a, like, say, 10% and just, um, reset. Now, I think it's a spot where, um, he could be getting a little bit more off the, um, landing aerials. But it's also hard, because I guess you don't want to, um, full drift them in, because you don't want to get, um, power shield at all. CC, but I guess it's percent CC doesn't really matter. Ah, oh, he tried. He tried. He really tried to um, do everything he could to survive, but not quite. Well, we still have Miss Zan in play. Prolong. Oh, the down. <gasps> Kicks it away. He uses him to land that smash attack and then just disregards him. You hate to see it. Ah, oh, that's probably it, yeah. It's unfortunate when you, like, do that full hop. Uh, down at that high, you're not getting anything off it afterwards. So it's like, you just, it's hard, like, you have to sort of just accept that um, mentally you're not going to get anything afterwards and just try and drift away from the Peach, because the Peach is going to try and, um, like, the Peach knows that at that point, then she's going to be actionable first in that case, and going to just put out an aerial to get a reversal out of it. It's power shield down smash, but the eyes properly and still not out of realm of possibility. Like, it's hard because one more hit and then a nair and the Falco is probably off stage. Like, next nair is probably going to just. Oh, yeah, I mean, that was not great DI, but even if it was good DI, the Falco is still definitely kind of. Probably, probably dead. Maybe has to. Maybe one more uh, edge guard interaction, but. Part of a full head of steam right now. Oh, again. <laughs> it just looks like... It just looks like right now the... Um, well, not... Well, I guess now we're out of that 30-40%, but just that initial bit just looked like the Falco was so scared to try and interact with the Peach, and I, I can empathize. Interacting with Peach when she's at zero is just... spooky. Oh, unfortunate air dodge. Oh, that's... Well, you know. Now they're even again. Fresh new start. Mm. Honestly, these tech... These, um... Platform, like, side plate tech chases haven't been great this set. Oh, yeah. hard. It's obviously hard, but... <laughs> probably not, um... Up to his standards. Oh, uh, well... Still not gonna... Yeah. Oh, doesn't fall for the Florets kill. Doesn't get fade back aerial F smash. But one Yoshi, so that's gonna work. And How did that second up up tilt hitbox is bullshit? How did that second up tilt not actually hit? It's crazy. That's well, the whole point of that move is it's meant to hit both behind and front. If it's not hitting in front, then what's the point? Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. Not the greatest game. But that's... That's why. Nah, it's hard. That sucks. I'd be tilted as well. I mean, like, god damn it. I worked so hard to get to this point, then I just fucking threw it away. What's the point? Awful game. Nah, you just gotta, like, mentally reset. As hard as it is. Right, that game's done. Um, new game, new you. I don't know. <laughs> Go on.
going straight back. Honestly, probably the right choice. I think this is probably... I think this is... Even if McLeod is comfortable in Yoshi's, I think this is the better of the two counter picks. At least Falco. like little side plat movement there just staying on side plat getting McLeod to move up a little bit to try and um, we'll try and contest it and then just immediately dropping down back to stage and then being able to shark a McLeod who's already committed to side plat but so yeah just kind of using the like vertical movement almost like a vertical dash dance to uh, mix the peach up I mean, it's frustrating because it's Peach. It's like your quick burst aerials aren't going to reliably cover side plate there. So if you actually do want to contest it, you're going to have to either... You're going to have to go through your pretty slow... Um, you're going to have to do more than a short hop, pretty much. You're going to do, like, some sort of full hop float or just um, maybe, a, like, a short hop up here or something. But either way, something that's way more um, committal. Something that's way more of a commit than... Um, just doing an immediate, like, like low float aerial, like low float nair. Damn, <laughs> oh, it's hard, it's hard. It really feels like at times, um, when Falco's on top flight, it's like the floor is lava. And <laughs> he's just like, just come here, let's interact, please. And it's not because, like, the Peach wants to interact because, oh, Peach is trying to play cool. Peach wants to interact because she's more likely to actually get an opening off something in being power shielded or... I think I remember um, Coffee describing it like Peach is a chain chomp and she will do everything she can to... Have you joined? This matchup's gay. This matchup? What? <laughs> what? Because <laughs> what, Calf? Because... From whose side? Because right now I'm not going to lie. Because I'm bad. Like, you're bad? Okay, so you think Peach has it rough? I'm not even saying that, I'm just bad. You're just bad? Fair enough. Look, well, there's times where I'm playing against Marfa's Fox, and I'm like, wow, this matchup's horseshit. I hate Marf. <laughs> but I'm like, no, you're just bad. Yeah, that's the kind of energy I want to give off. Yep. You just want to give off the energy of this matchup sucks. Yeah. Yep, fair enough. I know Falco doesn't like it. Yeah, Falco probably doesn't like it. Ah, uh, a lot of times. I know Kai used to like this matchup. I have no I idea if he still likes it after playing like oh, Mumps and Mumps of a Cloud. I really can't believe he'd still like it after like. I feel like you have to honestly at this point. Like I mean, I, I play a bunch. Of, I played so much of a Cloud with Fox, and I still like Fox Peach. Oh no, that's Ooh. unfortunate. Falco Shine not being quite as <laughs> quite as big as Fox there. Oh, oh, that was a that was a very high pitch school from you, Kevin. But that's the game. It's good, we are. No oh, they hug it out. It's already warm enough. They don't need to be. <laughs> it's all right. Huh? Oh. One sec. I didn't see much of it, but I assumed that was like. Oh, it was a roller coaster. Sort of. Maybe. Uh, anyway. Um, no, it was it was decent. I don't know. I feel like um, Kai probably not happy with how he played that set, but... The plushies. He's definitely not happy. I'm sure he's definitely not happy. You do. You get to hear that. I assume you got to hear... Um, I assume you got to hear at least part of it with, you know, one ear. One ear you got to hear that? Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, do I have... Oh, congratulations. I'm uninstalling League of Legends when I get home. You're uninstalling League of Legends? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why? Oh, I played so bad in this first set. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want anything. I, like, figure out how to play the game. I was like, the um, those sets weren't... They were better, but they weren't good. So, <laughs> good thing goodbye you, League of Legends. Good thing you figured out in the uh, second set, because it looked like I was still playing pretty awful in the second set. I'm not going to lie. I don't think... Um, it looked... um. 
A little bit sketch. A little bit sketch? A little bit sketch. A little bit sketch. I'm yeah. I don't think Kai would be particularly happy with how he played. No. I um, think there was, there was a lot of flubs. I was just I was a bit more aggressive, so... Okay, Kai saying he's fine. It was, it was decent. Yeah, yeah, okay, right. I mean, it's Rando SDs. They... I don't know. Yeah, they did. They lost the set. Hello, but yeah, I don't know. I felt... I felt... It was okay, the last two sets, but I'm like... There was just, like, a lot of stuff where I'm just like, I can't be missing this in four weeks. I yeah. Just, I just can't at can't. all. No. There's, there's no excuses. So. No, I'm, I'm done with POE, gaming. so I'm back on um, playing back, back gaming? Back oh, yeah. yeah. Back at the, the 11 a.m. fucking grind sessions, Moscow? Yep, yep. Hell, yeah. Looking um, forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely done with the season. No, I enjoyed my season. Yeah? I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun. It was a good season. It was um very fun uh game. Um, <sighs> but... Yeah, at a certain point where you play and you're like, yeah, what am I doing anymore? Yeah, it's, it's I've, like you. I've, I've achieved everything I yeah. need to achieve. I've achieved everything I want to you're achieve. You're just grinding for grinding and it just yeah. feels a bit empty. It's like, yeah, no, I, I, know, I remember playing those games. I yep. remember what it's like. Like, oh. I don't need to kill. I'm killing everything that I need to in like a second. I don't need to play 50 more hours of killing in like half a second. There's yeah, no yeah, exactly, exactly. Don't tell SA. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Hey, yeah, I've, sports, I've, been, I've been saying. I've been oh. saying. We'll see. We'll see in we'll see in four weeks. In four weeks, yeah, yeah. It's um, Vic's still very very good, and Vic will get um, I'll have more people at uh Big Cheese. Mm -hmm. Honestly, the um, at the very least, an SA versus Vic State crew should be really really. Fun. That would be high. That would, I mean, <laughs> true. We got your PM. About the vibes. About the POE. Surely we were the better. Oh, we're POE. Nick vs. Nick vs. Moscow. That'd be interesting. Moscow. Nick plays uh, solo self found, so um. He is probably significantly better at the actual game itself, but damn it, I play trade league, so I'm probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm yep. prom. Yeah. Nah, it, honestly, shout out to people that play solo self found in that game, because they have to know a decent bit about the mechanics, because you can't just farm up uh, currency and buy yep. whatever you want. You actually have to get your items. I'm like. <sighs> Man, that's hard. I just, just, you just get currency and then yeah, you just get currency. What do you mean? You, what do you, what do you, you mean? You have to sit on 10 wiki pages to figure out what the you hell is going on. You still sit on 10 wiki pages regardless. In that game, you have so much open. But anyway. Instead of 50 wiki pages, it's 10 it's wiki a, yep, pages. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. I suppose that's about it. Yeah. That's probably it, yeah. I saw, <laughs> I saw Marcy. Legal, I've done with League of Legends. I'm sorry. I wish you luck in your <laughs> journey. Anyway, good night, everyone. Love you all. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you to everyone who um, was watching. Thank you to Kai for streaming. And... Thank you to all the new people that people that showed up. Wow, I came here at like eight o'clock and I was like, "Whoa, that's What's like up? three or four new faces." Hello, hello. Hey, how we doing? Hopefully, I'll how be able to make um <laughs> next tournament on time. <laughs> I, it was so good when you walked in. I'm just like, "Hey, check it out. Oh, we got people here." I know, crazy. All right. Um. Yeah. How are you, man? Um. Yeah. Good. Just busy. Yeah, so. <laughs> really. So, um, same thing with calf. So that's all right. Yeah. That's no worries, man. Like but that's the thing with the locals, right? Like, uh, pretty much. If anyone like was paying attention to the SA chat today, it was like just a discussion about like, um, you know, people, uh, people talking about like, um, not just wanting to play in like the tournament scenario, you know? Mm. And um, I'm just like, well, guys, it's a. <sighs> Like, it's a bit annoying for me being, like, an organizer and being like, hey, the venue's hella available. Like, before, during, after tournament. Yep. Like, get your friendlies in, absolutely. Um, not only these meetups, because they happen, like, four till whenever, Wednesday and Friday, mm. but also at Cheese Leagues, like, I can be there at, like, 1 or 12 when we open, and nobody's there, right? And also, <laughs> and like, you know, in my day, we used to play at people's houses. Look, I, I have nothing I have nothing against the, the house sessions because they're the best ones. Mm -hmm, that, mm -hmm. Like that's the best like tournament gets for like melee, honestly. Like summit style? Absolutely. Oh, I just meant more just like showing up to like say organize something, going out to some like say hanging out with someone and playing a you know, say a few hours of friendlies when you can. Thank but, you, like, Marcy. It's hard. It's hard when you it's hard finding time. But like Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well that's the thing, right? It's just like people are busy and I understand that. Mm. And so like the whole point of me running shit is just like, oh, well, you know, um, I'm going to do it like clockwork, basically, because yep. it's like, well, I just want there to be a place where people can go to get good games. Yeah. And that's that's the end of the story, really, because it's like, um, yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm just doing this because this is what I would have wanted when I was, like, coming up or whatever. Yeah. Right? Just being like, oh, cool, I can come here, like, Wednesday, Friday, and we have a monthly, and, like, we're doing great, right? Because, you know, back in the day, like, Street Geek fucking sucked. <laughs> like, oh. Street Geek was ass. 
Street Cube was actually ass. Like, it was good, but it was also ass, right? Getting it to play friendlies in a venue for, like, the whole weekend, awesome, mm -hmm. right? The tournament itself, dog shit. Yeah, but it's because, like, the TOs were very casual and, like, not very... Like, I... Yeah, yeah, it's super I, casual. But the problem was no prizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's all, yeah. Um, that was more of a... I think that was more of a street geek issue than like yeah, a damage issue. It's not, it was not like we couldn't have just done our own shit anyway. That's actually yeah, true. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, that probably is then. Yeah, 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 yeah it's a damage issue then. I think it's just it's a um not being able. To, I think the sentiment was different back then too. Yeah, I think. And then we came in. The we're sentiment like, changed, was up? and they weren't able to adapt. weren't able to read the room. Almost. Oh hi, Shan. Thank you. Yeah, today went pretty good. Um, thanks for stopping by. It went pretty good today, and like. I feel like I play good games. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> okay. Oh. All right, well, I might pack down. Yep. I, I think right. I'm good. Like, I think I played all right against Cardi. Um, I didn't think he'd played amazing, but I still think, like, it was, like, the best set we had in a while. Okay. Or at least, you know, if you combine them all together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, if you I combine didn't them all together, they were all right. Well, yeah. I didn't see the first set, so I only saw yeah, like yeah. I really only saw the uh, last two, and I'm like, I mean, no, there was like there were some games where I was like, wow, that's really good. There was a lot of like really good back and forth. There was one point I can't remember what game it was. There was one game on commentary. Where I'm like, wow, that's a really good game. But there was also some where I was just like, oh, he really just he uh, McLeod SD, then Kai SD, then mm. McLeod, and then Kai SD again. Mean. And I'm like, oh, if okay. We, we'll get like the what's the word? Uh, the gold splits. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. The, the sum of best. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pack up, folks. Yep. I gotta. End the end the recording. Get the fucking vods. You know how it is. Um, you know where to go as well. You know, the vods will be up on the YouTube, as always, and you can follow me on Twitter. And um, you can also I'm on Blue Sky now as well. If you look up KP's Kaiser, because Twitter's kind of going to shit at the moment. Um, I'm also on co-host if you really want. Uh, and you know how it is. Here's all the socials. Here's Catchphrase essay. say, don't forget, by the way, Big Cheese is next month. If you haven't signed up to Big Cheese yet already, we still have late registration open for 70 bucks for the venue fee. Um, so sign up to that because we're at 200 attendees right now. Last year we got like 290 something with all the ulti entrance. And at the moment, ulti is only at like 60 something, 63 or something entrance at the moment. I think Melee is sort of sitting at around like almost 40, something like that. Um, so... If you're a smasher in Australia, sign up to Big Cheese at site.gg slash Big Cheese 4. All right, I'm peacing out. But before that, I have to grab my phone and find someone to raid you to. All right, one second. Yeah, come to Big Cheese 4 at St. Clair Rec Centre on October 13th to 15th. Um, yeah, everyone's packing up now, so I'm just going to quickly find someone to raid you off with. Let's see who's live on my following list. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm about to... I'm, like, quite gassy at the moment. <laughs> um... Let me see. Bugger it. We're going to raid Cody. Cody's doing a s uh, some fun this month. Cody, show up. All right. Bye, everyone. Say hi from South Australia. And, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Peace out. Everyone.